and welcome to Geeky Bit. Today in tech history, we're talking about Print Shop. Originally known as the Print Shop, was first designed by David Balsam and programmed by Martin Kahn under the umbrella of Broderbund Software. In 1984, the initial version of Print Shop was released, marking a significant milestone in the realm of desktop publishing and graphic design. David Balsam, with his vision for a user-friendly printing software, led the conceptualization and design of Print Shop. Martin Kahn, an accomplished programmer, brought Balsam's vision to life. Print Shop made its debut on Apple II and IBM-compatible computers, catering to popular systems such as Apple, x86 MS DAWs, Atari 8-bits, and Commodore 64. The software's intuitive interface, extensive library of pre-designed templates, and powerful editing features allowed users to effortlessly create and customize professional-grade print materials. From flyers and brochures to banners and greeting cards, Print Shop provided a versatile platform for users to bring their creative ideas to life. The collaboration between Balsam and Khan, alongside the success of Print Shop, played a pivotal role in establishing Broderbund Software as a prominent player in the software development industry, particularly within the creative space. With all of that out of the way, here's my story with Print Shop Deluxe. It was somewhere around 1991 or 1992, shortly after my family had gotten an IBM PS2386 computer from, of all places, the Home Shopping Channel. My father had gotten us Wolfenstein 3D and I loved the game, but this computer could do so much more. One of those things was printing things with a dot matrix printer my parents bought shortly after we got the computer. One of the coolest programs for printing I had ever seen or used was something called Print Shop Deluxe and it was my introduction into Print Shop. My grandmother had her 80th birthday coming up and one of the things I wanted to do was make her a banner for her birthday. I was in luck we had all the tools to make this happen. The dot matrix printer even printed in full color. It could print out banners as back then a dot matrix printer had the paper come out as one long continuous sheet. I set out to load up the software and make my banner. After selecting the font to use and some clip art images, I had what I wanted ready to print. I sent it to the printer and it made an amazing eight or 10 foot long banner. I realized I could also make cards, so I made custom cards for each of our family members to sign. I remember this lighting up my grandmother's eyes. She seemed so excited by this wonderful banner and asked where we got it. Everyone said how I made it. I was so happy I could make something that made my grandmother so happy. This was all thanks to Print Shop Deluxe. Our family continued to buy Print Shop Deluxe versions till Office 97 when we got a free copy of Microsoft Publisher, which did about the same stuff though I have long since lost that old computer I first used Print Shop on, and I don't have the dot matrix printer I first used with it. I will always have those wonderful memories of this software. Here are my thoughts about Print Shop. It was a wonderful piece of software that could take a home computer to a whole other level and make birthdays and parties seem magic back then with its banner features. Sadly, Microsoft made publisher that did many of the features better, so it kind of killed Print Shop's business. Though now you can get Print Shop cheaper than publisher and it seems to have caught up feature-wise and even has some things that are better, it might be worth a buy now as long as it doesn't have a bunch of bloat or spyware. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, and if so, feel free to click that like button. And if you're not subscribed so already, feel free to do so. And if you'd like to get notifications of my future videos, click that bell button.